Hello and welcome to uh, the Grand Campaign. We're starting it here. Uh, 39. Let's just do the set the difficulty here. Which is of course going to get really ugly. Uh, we are... Let me just buy the, the units that I need to buy. I'm buying actually four pieces of artillery here. There's so one 75 without a truck. 105 with a truck, sorry, without a truck, 105 without a truck, and 105 with a truck. That's what we can afford on Rommel. Um, and and th there's some there's some reasoning behind it. For example, this guy without a truck, he can actually participate because he can move over here and then get railed up, and he'll be able to support uh, all the way. Just so happens that he can do that. You see, he can fire here at the anti tank and then move forward. And then in the next turn, he fires from here against this, and he comes up here and helps against the Polish bulk, uh, the, the Pol Polish main force here. Up here, the purpose is to make the uh, make it more resilient against the, uh, these units. Killing the fighter, it's just it's uh, you can calculate that it's a 37% chance. But after that, killing this guy, that, that's a tough, that, that's a tall order. But by bringing these two, I can take him down quite safely and also I can handle the anti tank gun. Otherwise, with just one artillery piece, it gets a lot more difficult. Of course, one artillery, artillery piece, we just take him out, then we can give him a truck and him a truck. So we would be back to the usual three pieces, but I'm getting four here. It also, it, it simply adds resilience to a... Uh, it's more robust when I do this, but also it means I get another artillery piece, piece worked up in experience. And uh, you, you will want to have uh, two star artillery units as fast as possible when you play against monster units. Uh, let me also go and explain the tactical situation here. We are in a 39 1 uh, Potsdam. We have 100% soft cap, of course we have that for quite a while, it won't start hitting us. I think the first time we'll see it is probably going to be Sevastopol. It's Timbers and Cloud in this battle, and no rain and no snow, and uh, there are seven core slots. These are numbers you will always look, want to know when you play a battle. We have three phases in the battle. First we break through down here with our division. Goose is in charge in the north and he breaks through here. Uh, then in the second... Uh, we uh, block reinforcements, that's goose forward here, auxiliary tank up here, and we get forward here to take this. Then uh, in the third phase is just about grinding. We take this one and this one, and well this one we already taken phase two, and then we take this one and this one, and we send a small force in towards the center. The key elements here are, of course we want to block the reinforcements. You can do that also by leaving units alive, but I want to kill everything. So I'm doing that, uh, so we need to get, in, get blocks in. Also, am ambush. Uh, I'm killing the enemy fighter first, and then I'm switching over to ambushing the bomber and then the enemy fighter. In uh, what I call enhanced ambush attacks, that is, they get, they run into the Messerschmitt 110, and then they get, first they get intercepted by the by Ace, that's our fighter, and then killed all. And so intercepted by Ace, and then go into combat against the Messerschmitt 110, so they get double damage, and then they're easy to kill off. Also, we want to reduce replacements. That means, as I, I think I say that in a few times, a few times we make their lives miserable when they're damaged by sitting next to them. So they can't uh, take replacements. It's too much uh, at this uh, stage of the campaign. We really just want to have them safely taken down. And we don't want to... There's one exception here. The tank up here, you can actually farm him with, uh, with our anti-tank gun. But in general, early in Manstein, you don't really want to let the enemy take replacements. It's too much. Later on we can. Uh, and that's it. I will uh, switch over to the live play now and I hope you enjoy it. And here we go. We send Ace in to attack the Polish fighter on the airfield. There's only a 37% chance of killing him. So don't be too impressed by it. But it's the only, only really, only must kill that I, that I have here in this uh, battle. Others I can fail, others I can afford failing, although uh, I mean I can't afford failing this one, but it's uh, it's highly unlikely that we fail to kill this cavalry. If you don't kill this cavalry, you, you're completely stopped on your tracks, so it is a must kill, but it's, uh, it's highly unlikely that it fails. 
just you're know, overkilling him and you can also see how expensive it is. Bad roads are expensive. That's what that's the way it works. Fought with Michael, fought with Bertie, fought with Richard Martin. This is, has been done a million times before. No thank you. We good. And we all know that we can precisely boot this guy. Or this anti tank gun. See how well we do here. Do we get no, okay, yeah. There's a good chance to demonstrate why you don't want to hit uh, AE guns with two guns unless they're completely suppressed. It's just, in my experience, uh, casualties are almost guaranteed when you do it. Which is why I always get complete suppression on AE before I hit them. Okay, here comes uh, Ace with a good roll on that one. We need to de entrench it, otherwise, we can't break him. Uh, when, when we get around to it. And we suppress him. We know we can precisely uh, uh, boot him next. Uh, with a, with a, unless we really have bad luck. But we are in, in a position here to kick him out with a... Oh, that's... Now we we're lucky. Okay. And then we get forward here with this so-called tank, and this tank, uh, also a so-called tank. You crawl forward, you come forward, get Bertie forward to here. Michael on the hill, and the auxiliary tank forward. What are we missing? Yeah, we don't do that. Go! <coughs> now we move uh, forward here and spank. And we say he should be completely suppressed, and uh, I'd just like to see if I can do a bit of preventive damage here. That's okay. Then the uh, goose is okay in the urban zone against this guy. He's not going to put that much damage in on goose. Goose is growing nicely in XP. And we want to make sure we kill this guy so we don't do this. There's a high risk that we uh, push him out and then we're just completely stopped in our tracks. We need to prevent him from reinforcing. That's the one of the key tactics in this battle. Keep him on the airfield. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that's what it, that's the way it works. Bad rolls. They are not funny. Okay, we go here and we catch the enemy bomber. The pur only purpose of hitting him was to keep him on the airfield so he don't, doesn't interfere when we kill his body. I don't need you to do anything. I could do this, but I don't have to. I'll just move him over here. We move you over here. You're really juicy now. That Polish tank is going to go nuts on you. Oh, I, I made a slight mistake here. I should have had a master attack against him, but we'll be okay. And you can participate. He's growing quite a lot of XP. Already? Wow. Yeah, we do this. Good one, Ponte. And in here and in here and we'll hammer away at him. I'll kill him. Uh, I'll try and kill him with Birchin. If he gets pushed up here, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, what are we missing? Yeah, we're not attacking anything here. We're good. That's the Polish uh, bomber who gets molested while his uh, body here is taking replacements. And here comes, uh, that's gonna hurt. But uh, what I really don't want is, oh, uh, I said I don't want this guy too damaged. Don't damage the merchandise. Yeah, he went for Goose, but that's fine. Goose can handle it. Now we say hit him again, and uh, we have Goose push him back. We want to make sure we kill him. Now it's a uh, the, the the failure, the, the the risk of failure is now so low that we'll do this. We do this with goose come forward to block. We kill the enemy uh, bomber. You can see Ace has been really busy. He's already been in action five times, and now we want to have a uh, rodel attract the enemy uh, fighter who has now gone up to full supply. Oh, uh, full re has replaced fully. Get Nate, Nate to hit the enemy uh, tank up here. We get forward here to block his reinforcements, and we're going to to also uh, I'll show you how how to uh, grind him down. Here we want to say forward here, and now uh, Ponty is very very exposed here. 
he's going to attack him. So we need to cover him with artillery, which of course we will do. And we want to get a surrender on him, preferably a good one. That's complete suppression. We'll take him with uh, Bertie. That's ah, okay, Bertie. You get some XP out of that. It was a pretty good roll. So it gives XP. We sent you up north. Much of this is standard, but the approach I have here is a little bit, I think, not... Hasn't been seen that many times. We do this, 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 and then I will move you up here, Bilbo, and I don't want to fire anything here. Because we don't want to damage the merchandise. Okay. Let me check that I'm okay. Yeah, we're now catching the last enemy air unit up here in a trap. Whoa, what was that? That's perfect, okay, leave more kills for, uh, for Ace. And Ace doesn't have to kill him now. Oh, he did, that's that's perfectly okay, because that means that now I am... Uh, can we see here? Yeah, you go now and hit the... Oh, no, no, I first need to make sure that he's actually located where I expect him to be located. He is. He takes one from Nate Nate. And I think uh, we can get... There's no more enemy air force, so we can start the entrenching here. With the order And get in and block. And you can see he went, you know, line, hook and sinker here. Not complete suppression, we wanna juice a surrender on him. I don't want Burgess to attack because Burgess can be north. Great, lots of prestige for that surrender. That's 14 prestige. And get Burgess railed up. He's gonna come and hit uh, this one now after he takes a hit from the artillery, but then we can sandwich him. Uh, here we say, yeah, the, the, the uh, cool way to deal with this guy is to kick him from the airfield and then uh, without killing him and without taking the airfield he comes back to defend it they're so stupid just move in like this he comes back to have <laughs> to get some more action now we want to have uh, him come in again the tank moved in here because it got him closer to the victory hex we don't want him forward now so we want to have him prevented from doing this, but we want him in here. That would be nice if he did that. And you can do this to uh, one, two, three, four, five. He can't get to the artillery. He will move in here, and we can and we can take him with a surrender next turn. Let me just check that I'm cool with this. Yeah. Now the chain comes to hit him, but he stays and blocks. And that's important. Very, very important. You do not want to get the AI any, let the AI get reinforcements here. It's not funny if it does. Now, uh, you can go and hit him. I want to get him, and then I'll let him uh, reinforce. While this guy keeps molesting the artillery. We don't move, we don't move in on him, we want to farm him. And here you can see we have a... This guy's getting railed north anyway. So I think we're in a position to surrender him. That's exactly what we want. We don't need a master tech and Richard Martin will be quickly on quick on the road. Yeah, we'll take it. I want some kills here on Ponty. Nineteen prestige? How the hell did I get that much? Well I'm cool with that. Okay, and we keep blocking here. I'll kill him. We need to get in and take the airfield and you are getting a truck and so are you. We have a uh, rotor. This is helping the entrench here. 
and I think we are flying him. I'm not completely sure where he goes. You help the entrench. This looks okay. Everything's coming forward. Okay. Yeah, he took replacements now. That's cool. Then he is uh, he's going to get a, 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 a visitor he's not going to enjoy. Okay, we uh, hit him because we also need to get Nate Nate resupplied. Uh, this might be better. Uh, not completely suppressed. We'll just do this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Would have liked to farm him a bit, but um, I should not have hit him with all those two. Uh... And here we don't really have any interest in. Um... Oh! Did we manage to not hit him at all? Okay. Uh, get you railed up here. You are moving up here. We get Richard Martin up. Uh, that's a shame. Can we... I need to block this. So uh, you... Oh, you can do that. Ma no, we need Michael to help with this one. Well, you can... No. I have this blocked. I just need to grab this, then we get... Bill in to help here. Get Michael in to help. Get you in to help. With a master tech, we don't hit him yet. And the entrench here. Yeah. Get you a truck. Get you forward. Get you resupplied. Check. We good? Yeah, he moves down. Moves uh, south. And it's trying to buy reinforcements, which we're not letting. We're not letting it do that. Let's uh, do this and. Now if we can um, make him take replacements here, then we have a good target to farm. Get Bilbo in to move forward to help here. Come on, kill him. Nice, Ponty. You can take him next turn. Of it. Just get some XP. There we are. It's okay if it takes replacements with the entrench here. Say what is that? Must be is that a 7.5? Yeah, or 75 millimeter. Okay, and yeah, we don't want to hit. Uh, we can just go and do a bit of farming here with uh, for XP. Yeah, he's almost a star. Doesn't really matter that he had some damage, although it'll be on his record for the rest of the campaign. Like this, and we're good. Yeah, that's it.
I can almost get a surrender on him. I think I can actually get a surrender on him now that I'm counting my options here. Yeah, we can. If I kill him now, but that should be pretty easy. Oh yeah, I can also have an Belbrin available to help with that. So that's a good surrender. Good prestige. Just do this. You might take casualties. Yips. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, and forward here with... Michael and... Uh, let's just get him safely. Almost a star on Bill Berlin, Richard Martin. And I would want someone who doesn't hit too hard. A bit of a shame I have to move in here, but I think we can live with that. I'll just make sure I get him with a... You grab this, you move forward, we'll blend forward here and we say... Surrender, and how much did we get for that? That's not bad. Okay, and... But now we have a little bit of a situation here where we are behind with the... I want to make his life miserable. I need to speed up, speed things up over here. Check. Yeah, looking good. in towards the center to help Richard Martin where do we put you Michael this one is behind schedule so we should be uh, you can send Rodel into uh, I can't reach him with Rodel but I can have you do it instead it's perfectly okay just uh, make him suffer. Yeah, I'm going just from this distance because I need to swing back into the center to help. Keep them blocked. Get you into the center. Get Ponty forward. The entrench. You have earned yourself a star. Let me check. We are cool. Yeah, it's fine. You can't take any replacements. the river hex. 
likely castle since we didn't get them. We swing you back into the center, otherwise we're not going to make it. And this is good, we can now start the entrenching. Here, that's very important. You come up here, Michael is helping with this. Are we good? Uh, we, oh, we lost the entrench here. You need to stay and help with this, so that's cool. Just de entrench like crazy to get this guy. There's a lot of entrenchment on him. you and you will come and join as well. Can't hit him yet. Check. You can come out and you may be able to have a bit of fun as well. Yeah, this is good. a um, garrison. Not even sure it's... Uh, let's see, we can do this and have you participate. Uh, we need to make sure we get... Yeah, we can move here, we can move... So we'll be... Uh, no, I'll be missing something now. Yeah, that's okay, we get rewarded when we do something like that. I think we can't get a surrender on him now, that's a shame. Okay. 
Yeah, this one got messed up. Oh, no star ace, but close. He should be getting it fairly quickly in the next battle. Yeah. Save the replay. Let's have a look at the battlefield. Okay, and... And I will force load an SE infantry. Let's just see here what we got in XP. Not impressive. Not impressive, not really impressive. These two guys are getting sold. Goose got a bit more. Also, Birch is doing pretty okay. One, two, three, four, almost. What's your XP? Yeah, you're a bit behind. An ace didn't make it to a star. We have a Nate Nate on a star, so we're cool. We managed to, I think that was quite a lot of prestige we got here because we got some good surrenders except the last one at uh, Conan. Okay, I will go and prepare uh, Danzig South and I will see you.